Our survival and existence is under threat because of climate change. Reducing our carbon footprint to stop climate change is no more a choice but a necessity for our survival and existence. The amount of carbon dioxide released by us into the atmosphere as a result of our activities is called our carbon footprint. Every year, 30 billion tons of carbon dioxide is generated by us. Carbon dioxide released by us lasts in the atmosphere for thousands of years, causing global warming due to greenhouse effect. As per the United Nations report, humans are the dominant cause of global warming, the leading cause of climate change. Storms, droughts, floods, forest fires, polar ice melts, rising sea levels, all these disastrous natural phenomena have increased in severity and frequency due to human-induced climate change. NASA has announced that we have officially crossed the climate tipping point and urgent steps are needed by all of us to stop this climate crisis. We need to reduce our carbon footprint at the earliest. Electricity consumed by us contributes to 15% of our carbon footprint. Heating and cooling systems at our homes contributes to 17% of our carbon footprint. Transportation system we use contributes to 28% of our carbon footprint. Stuff we buy contributes to 26% of our carbon footprint. And the type of food we eat contributes to 14% of our carbon footprint. By adopting a low-carbon lifestyle, we can reduce our carbon footprint. Let's look at electricity first. Our electricity consumption contributes to 15% of our carbon footprint. For every unit of power consumed, 1 kg of carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere. We need to reduce our wastage of electricity. For this, we can unplug electronics and appliances when not in use. We should turn off the lights and fans when leaving a room. LED bulbs use 80% less energy than conventional bulbs. We should start using LED bulbs in our homes. We should install water overflow alarms in our overhead water tanks to stop electricity and water wastage. We can use clean, green, renewable sources of energy like solar and wind. By using 100% renewable energy at home, we can save over 5000 kg of carbon dioxide emission every year. The power to reduce carbon footprint is in our hands. Heating and cooling systems at our homes contributes to 17% of our carbon footprint. Together, electricity, heating and cooling contributes to 32% of our carbon footprint. By using more efficient, energy-saving household appliances for heating and cooling, we can save electricity. With every 1 degree rise in AC temperature setting, we can save 6% electricity. The power to reduce carbon footprint is in our hands. The transportation system we use contributes to 28% of our carbon footprint. Together, electricity. Heating and cooling and transportation contribute to 60% of our carbon footprint. 2.7 kg of carbon dioxide is emitted when we burn 1 liter of diesel and 2.4 kg of carbon dioxide is emitted when we burn 1 liter of petrol. By walking, cycling, carpooling and use of public transport instead of personal car, 
we can green our commute and reduce carbon emission by adopting green fuels like bioethanol biodiesel biobutanol and biogas we can reduce our carbon footprint by using electric vehicles we can reduce our carbon emission green hydrogen powered vehicles are a good alternative which emits just water 90 kg of carbon dioxide is emitted by an aircraft every hour every day about 1 lakh flights fly across the world Let's reduce flying. Fly only when absolutely necessary. We can plan our holidays at local destinations accessible by bus and train instead of flying. The power to reduce carbon footprint is in our hands. Stuff we buy contributes to 26% of our carbon footprint. Together, electricity, heating and cooling Transportation and stuff we buy contributes to 86% of our carbon footprint. We produce 2.2 kg of trash every day. Every year we produce over 800 kg of trash. This trash ends up at landfills producing greenhouse gases like methane. Methane is 25 times more dangerous than carbon dioxide in causing global warming. Our world consumes 8 billion pieces of clothing every year. It is 400% more than what we were consuming 20 years ago. We produce 23 kg of textile waste per head. every year our current way of consumption is completely unsustainable for life on earth we can donate our used clothes and buy second hand to reduce our carbon footprint single use plastic is a big problem every minute one truck load of plastic waste enters our oceans 7% of plastic on beaches come directly from our homes killing ocean life and birds like albatross Microplastics have been found in the placentas of unborn babies Plastic pollution has reached the unborn as reported by the Guardian recently Main sources of trash are food packaging product packaging and food waste by eliminating these three sources we can reduce our trash by up to 90% to reduce food packaging trash say no to plastic bags carry reusable cloth or jute bags for shopping buy in bulk instead of small quantities buy local produce Imported products have high carbon footprint due to shipping and over packaging. To reduce product packaging trash, buy products without unnecessary packaging. For example, we throw away toothpaste carton after purchase. So, to reduce trash, buy toothpaste without carton to reduce trash. Wasting food is criminal. 40% of food grown by farmers is wasted. 50% of this is wasted at our homes. 108 kg of food is wasted every year by each person. Stop food wastage by better planning and better storage. To recycle food waste, convert waste to compost and start gardening. Plant a tree to celebrate occasions like birthdays. anniversaries festivals or any happy moment a tree can absorb 22 kg of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year and release oxygen in exchange to reduce carbon footprint we should recycle waste segregation of waste is important for recycling When we look at our water footprint, only 5% of water use happens at our homes for washing, cleaning, cooking, etc. 
Rest 95% is hidden in the products we buy. For example, to produce 100 gram chocolate bar, it takes 1700 liters of water, which is equivalent to 30 showers. To reduce our carbon footprint, we need to follow responsible consumerism by buying products when absolutely necessary. We should control impulse purchase through pre-planned shopping list. To promote low carbon footprint, we can follow responsible investments in environmental social governance (ESG) compliant business organizations that follow environment friendly practices and have low carbon emission. The power to reduce carbon footprint is in our hands. Our food habit contributes to 14% of our carbon footprint. Together, electricity, heating and cooling, transportation, stuff we buy and food contributes to 100% of our carbon footprint. To feed an average human 2,000 calories per day from plants, farmers need to grow 3,000 calories per day of crops. But to feed 2,000 calories per day on animal products, farmers need to grow 20,000 calories per day of crops, causing rapid deforestation of earth. 13 million hectares of forest disappear every year from our planet. The Amazon rainforest called the lungs of the world spread across 2.1 million square miles produces 20% of our planet's oxygen. But now it emits more carbon than it absorbs due to rapid deforestation. To feed the world... With plant-based diet, only 7% of land mass is needed. But we are using 38% of land mass of our planet for agriculture. Deforestation of Amazon rainforest can be prevented by adopting a plant-based diet. As per the United Nations Climate Change Report, by adopting a balanced diet featuring plant-based foods, we can take major steps to fight climate change. Millets like bajra, joar, ragi have higher nutrient content, low glycemic index and require 2.5 times less water for cultivation than rice and wheat. Switching to millet-based diet promotes a low-carbon lifestyle. Animal husbandry industry accounts for nearly 14.5% of world's total annual carbon footprint and 45% of its land use. To reduce our carbon footprint, a radical shift to plant-based diet is needed and it's healthy too. The power to reduce carbon footprint is in our hands. Barack Obama said, Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Nelson Mandela said, It is in our hands to create a better world for all who live in it. Please share your low carbon lifestyle story in the comments below so that I can feature you in my next video as an inspiration for others. The power to reduce carbon footprint is in our hands.